Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to cover removal and reinstallation of the derby cover seal. Maybe you got a derby cover that's been leaking on your Sportster. Uh, this is going to be how to replace that seal. It's a pretty simple task and you can do this. Uh, and reinstallation, uh, the reinstallation procedure is very important uh, to follow it exactly. Um, there's some details you want to pay attention to during the reinstallation process. That will make sure it goes on there evenly and it won't leak anymore. Uh, it's really easy to cock it or put it on there a little crooked and screw the seal up. Then your primary fluid's leaking out and nobody wants that. So let's move in for a closer look. To remove your clutch cover, your derby cover, you're going to want to take these six screws out of here. However, they were originally a Torx bit and I replaced them with Allen screws because I kind of hate Torx bits. I don't remember what size Torx bit it was, but I'll look it up and put it right there on the screen. Cool. Now the Allen screws I have in here take a 5 30 seconds Allen bit. So we're going to break each one of these free. You want to break them all free because that way you don't have one that's just going crooked and making it extra difficult to get that last screw or two free. Once you get them all free, you can lefty loosey them all out of there. My advice would be leave the top one and the bottom one in for now. We're just doing that to hold the whole thing in place. Now, take the top one out. Why the top one? I don't know. You can take the bottom one out. Take one of them out. Hold the clutch cover in with your other hand. Then take the final screw out. You shouldn't get any oil out of here if your bike is up straight. If your bike is leaned over on angle, uh, you're going to get oil out of this sucker. Then, if it doesn't easily pop off of here, you can take a flathead screwdriver, wipe her clean. I recommend doing this down at the bottom in case you scratch it. Just put it up in there and twist a little bit. Cover's gonna fall off of there. Hopefully a little more, less graceful than that. There was a hex bit and a spring that needed to come out of there. Hopefully you've got that thing somewhere because that sits right back up in there on those little flats. That's what holds the adjuster tight. We're not gonna worry about that for the time being. But we're gonna take that piece off and we're gonna put it inside our clutch cover. Now, to replace our seal, we're going to take a knife and put it underneath here and peel this seal right on out. Or maybe we can use our fingernails. Peel that off. If you're saving it for some reason because you're replacing the cover, set in a clean location, set it off to the side. Take your spring nut, or the nut with the spring on it, slide it up on there wherever it lines up. Take your gasket, all nice and clean. Onto your clean surface here, slide it into the groove. If it doesn't stick, you can take a little general purpose grease and put it on the gasket, and that will help it stick in place. Now you're ready to reinstall your clutch cover. You have this little bump right here, doo -doo, and that goes over the little bump right here where your clutch cable goes. The spring should go into this, the spring there should go into this center disc. So if you look at it from the side as you're installing it, you should be able to see it drop right in there. Then hold it up in place. Careful not to jiggle it around as you do it because you can knock the gasket out. And thread a screw or two back in here. Keep pushing on it until you get two screws in. Make sure they're on opposite sides. That way the cover doesn't go crooked and the gasket doesn't pop out. It's happened to me before. And just make those finger tight just enough to hold the cover in place. Now tighten these up in a crisscross pattern. Now 
and of course, torque them to spec afterwards. All right, it's all back together. Wipe all your greasy handprints off it. Check to make sure your clutch works properly and you are ready to go for a ride. That's all I got.